After release at ground level, a balloon rises uh, 100 feet every 30 seconds. During this, the each succeeding 30 seconds, it rises 9 over 10 as far as it did before. Hey, that would mean um, it rises not as far, right? Like, if the first one was 100, the next uh, amount that it rises would be 100 times 9 over 10. And then the next one would be 100 times 9 over 10 times 9 over 10. Okay, uh, what would those answers be? Let's see, it would be a 100, and the next time it rises, it would be 90, and the next time it rises, it would be, uh, what's 9 over 10? Is, is it 81? Yeah, it would be 81. Okay, and then so on and so forth. If I multiply it by 9 over 10 again, I think I start getting decimals. But this is a geometric, it's a geometric sequence, right? Mm -hmm. Right? Will the, the amount that the balloon rises eventually terminate? Like, will it stop rising? I mean, it has to. If we take it to an infinite Sky. amount of multiplying, it will terminate. How do we know this? Because the ratio that we're given is less than 1 and greater than 0. 9 over 10 is less than 1, but it's greater than 0. Whenever we have a ratio that's in there, we can do an infinite sum. And that's what this is probably going to ask us. What is the maximum altitude above the ground? Okay, so it wants to know how high did it actually get. So we're going to take uh, the infinite sum because I know this is a geometric sequence and I could take this to infinity. My first, uh, my initial height is um, 100. So I'm going to go 100 times 1 over 1 minus 9 over 10. And we should get our answer here. My first term is 100. Okay, so we got 100 uh, times 1 over 1 tenth. And what is 1 divided by 1 tenth? Do you guys know? Uh, 1 divided by 1 tenth, that would be the same as saying 1 times 10 over 1, which is just 10, right? So we just have to go 100 times 10. Oh. That gives us 1,000. 1,000 feet? Okay. Oh, here's a bonus question. How many seconds did that take? Uh, never mind. I don't want to do that. <laughs> so the reason why we use this, I mean, I, I hope that's obvious. Some of you guys are saying that you think that that's obvious now. What if I wanted to use this formula? How come I cannot use the regular geometric sum formula? Because we do not know what n is. We don't know how many terms this is. Now, because like right now, it's written as an infinite geometric sequence. We know that the only way to find the total is if the ratio is between 0 and 1. So that's how you would know, I guess. I think there's another problem like this that you guys have to do. Yeah, your FRQ maybe with the bouncing ball?